Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to my coloring book haul for the month of May where I'm going to show you all the coloring books that I've gotten since my last haul. So let's get right into it. So the first book here is of course the new Hachette Heroes Le Grand Classique Tome 10. I was so looking forward to this one and as always I'm going to show you the solutions. And I really love these images because they are very detailed. They have beautiful colors and they actually made the effort this time to also give black lines to all the 3D animated Pixar movies. This is so lovely. So for the lovers of the black lined images, and I know there are a lot of you, this book is going to be such a treat. For those who don't like the detailed images, maybe a little less so, but I love them. Um, one thing you have to note, though, is in case you are working with a non-opaque medium, the lines are actually a little darker than usual. So if you use colored pencils or water-based markers, they will show through. Um, I'm not sure yet, actually, if I'm really going to use, I love this one, they uh, outlined all the 3D pictures, as I said, and they turned out absolutely beautiful. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to work with the opaque medium of acrylic paint in this one, because it's just so detailed and it's going to be uh, quite a drag, to be honest, to fill out all the small spaces with a brush. So I might use colored pencils and see how it turns out with the dark lines. But yeah, beautiful images in here for the lovers of Disney books and color by number. And then I also got the Fleur one. This is full of flowers. Same scheme, color by number with lines. And I really like the mixture in here. You have quite realistic images and you have more stylized, patterny almost images. And they're all so beautiful. Love this one. Color combination of some of them is really lovely. So if you like flowers, then this one might be one for you. This is actually the cover image here. Really like it. Probably going to use, as the images are kind of, I mean, this one, wow, that there's a lot of detail here. But most of the images are, in my opinion, pretty doable with acrylic paint and a brush. Love this one. I mean, I have pretty fine brushes, but it just takes forever <laughs> to finish an image, especially depending on what kind of paint you're using, whether you have to apply another layer. I love this one. The color scheme of this one with all the purples, lovely. Also like this one with the cat. Really, really pretty images in here. Also like those fuchsias. Yeah. Lovely stuff in here. Fleur Coloriage Mystère by Hachette. And then I also got this small one, the Mandala et Rangolin. Rangoli. Mystère. And I actually have the Mandala et Rangoli um, big one with the 100 images. And I expected doubles here. And I checked quickly. And I actually couldn't find any. So to me, it seems that these are 50 completely new images that you are not going to find in the bigger one. So if these types of images are something for you, I love this one. I love this one. They're so cute. Also, they, they integrated more animals and figures than in the big A4 sized one. Really like it. Really love the color schemes. I love this one. This looks beautifully pastel -y. Yeah, also these birds here are really nice, so oh, I love these. This one in particular, very pretty. So they added more animals to this one and also a couple of people. It's not just mandalas and patterns. So yeah, really like this one. Then, of course, I had to get the newest Camellia Angel Cova, 50 mythical miniatures. You have probably seen, if you like her stuff, uh, a flip through of this. A couple of people did flip throughs. So I'm just going to show you real quick what to expect. As always, absolutely cute. I love this one. So cute. <laughs> How many times can you say cute in one sentence? Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to stop. This is lovely. 
I haven't worked in the Camellia Angel Cova book for quite a long time, but yeah, the future holds many opportunities. Then I got this one, Cute Chibi Creature Coloring by Phoebe Im. Oh my god, this is so lovely. I had this um, on my Amazon wish list for such a long time and just couldn't wait for the release. Her style is so cute and adorable. And all these funky animals are having fun very cute i love the line work i love the line variation it gives a very 3d feel to the illustrations and the paper is actually it's not amazon uh, paper it is better quality so you can work with different mediums in here it's single-sided so alcohol marker base with colored pencil shading will probably be my preferred mediums in here but yeah cute chibi by phoebe im i recommend if you like cute stuff then I got the newest Prachi the one such diva, the pretty flowers ceramic tiles, color by number. I have all the ceramic tile books. I think they're just lovely. They're wonderful, mindless coloring just to relax and wind down from a stressful day at work. And um, one difference though, the paper is not completely white as the other books. It's a little creamy, so uh, we'll see how that will work with the alcohol markers. Very looking forward to working in that one then i also got the newest such and such diva book the mosaic art landscapes i haven't worked in a long time in these pixel books i was really um i was really loving them when i started coloring and then i kind of burned out <laughs> but i still love doing them occasionally and what i like about this one is he actually gives you a black and white solution version so you can actually pick which images to color first, if that's your thing. I will probably just work in order in this one, but yeah, very nice new addition. Then I also got the newest Belba one, the Stone Mosaic Animals, book 12. And if you know these books, you know the drill. It's these stone-shaped little mosaic shapes <laughs> that you color. And um, I'm still working in the 50 black backgrounds one, but I love having more of these. And then I've gotten, I think, the four newest releases from AJ Quinnell. This is Amazonia. And this is a really interesting style. I think the first time they, they published it like that was in the insect one. And I think it looks really interesting and unique, and I like it. I hope they release more of this kind. So this is the Amazonia. Then we have the Uno. This is very simple, very thick lines, looking very stylized, almost a little abstract at times. Also very interesting for just a quick coloring. Get a page done like that. Then I got the Mondo Circulism. Mondo apparently means large. So these are like close-up images of animals very small circles love it i'm getting all of these books i just love all of them and then the fourth and last one is the indigenous one this has very interesting um designs some lines are very very thin so we'll see how that works out with my usual use of color uh, color pencils uh alcohol markers in these books I might just use colored pencils for the background when there are very, very thin lines. I'm not sure yet, but I really like the, the variation and the element of black used inside the illustration. So very nice. Then I have gotten, I had my eye on this for a while. It wasn't a priority, but someone recently hauled or flipped it. And I was reminded of how much I initially liked it. Um, Selina Fennec, I don't collect all of her books. She has double pages, which is kind of meh, but for me, <laughs> because I, I barely get to coloring these, these beautiful images uh, once. So, But again, her style is so beautiful, and I just couldn't say no to this one. So yeah, Winged Magic. I will eventually get more of her books, I think, because her style is just so appealing to me. But yeah, I got the second book from Luca Gosco, The Animo. The first one I got was The Stained Glass Animals, and this one is the normal, non-stained glass animals. On the inside, it looks like that. It has the color palette down here and a small thumbnail of the solution here. 
and you can work with alcohol markers in this one or if you want to give it more of a painting look even with acrylic paint so yeah I, I really loved the stained glass one so I had to get that one then I also got the Fantasy Kawaii Kingdom Collector's Edition Volume 1 by Daily Art Hour. I had a couple of their books on my wish list. They weren't a priority, but I was really excited to see that they released the collection. And I love these cute little illustrations with the thick lines. They remind me of some of the RPGs I have been playing when I was younger. Or, well, let's be honest, I'm still playing some of them. <laughs> But yeah, I think they're really cute, really nice and, and easy to color with some alcohol markers, maybe giving a colored pencil, shading. So yeah, love this one. Then I have gotten, unfortunately I don't remember who showed these books by Sarah Muzio, but I watched some flips of these and I love her artwork. It's really nice. It's really, in my opinion, it's just um, on the border of too, too zentangly for me but I really love her designs this double page is so beautiful with the bridge and all the leaves they're so detailed you can even work with gel pens to do all the small detailed ones so yeah love the artwork in this one then the other one that I have gotten is the Wa Harmony Japonaise this is the French version this was the only version of the book that was available I love this Tori gate um that was available on oops stay here <laughs> on uh, German Amazon but I don't care I mean it's just coloring pages it doesn't really matter if the writing is in French and I do have French coloring books anyway so that's fine but yeah lovely illustrations quite patterny but you can really choose all the colors that you want the medium that you want except for alcohol markers uh, unless you want to lose the image on the other side and the last one is a passion for japan and this one i think three three of her books this is really enough to last me quite a long time i think she has more out but those three were really the ones where i said yep those illustrations they're just lovely they appeal to me a great deal i want those i might be getting some of her other ones in the future who knows but yeah really lovely and then we're already at the end. This was a quick haul. I'm standing up and my neck is starting to hurt, so <laughs> I'm kind of glad. But this is the Celtic Spirit coloring book, Notwork Designs for Inner Peace by Cleopatra Mozel or Mozel. And what I love about this book is the line art is so pretty with its line variations. Wait, I'm going to try to show it to you like that. So you have all kinds of Celtic designs, very creative with all the intertwining knots and animal elements inside of it. Really love this one. This is going to be um, beautiful to, to work in with colored pencils and maybe some gold acrylic paint to add some nice accents. I always make plans how to color and then it just takes me forever to actually get to the image. Wow, this double page is beautiful. That's really beautiful lovely book yeah i got all of them from amazon so if you saw a book that you would like to get yourself check your um corresponding amazon i got all of them of course from german amazon because i'm in germany but i'm sure you can also find them on amazon.com or amazon co uk and there's always ebay you know now unfortunately that book depository is closed you can't get them from that source but book depository was owned by amazon anyway so i would assume that the stock from book depository would just switch over to amazon but i'm not sure if that's gonna happen but yeah never hurts to check so thank you very much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you in the next one bye